need to tell you I can't get you off of my mind There's just something about you You're like a sweet, soft surprise Your smile gets me high You take my breath away My mind is open Have 
the same place. My blood bleeds red, my heart beats too. With so much love, my brother, for you. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better if we had the same face? Harmony. I heard one person say, Love will make the way for peace and equality. This encourages me. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better if we had the same face? My blood beats red, my heart beats too.
CC. Frankie Thoma. It feels good right here.
Cause oh no, here we go now He's moving in on my skin, makes me grin, wow And I like the way his lips gently touch my body He sends chills through my spine And I just can't deny it, he say What you wanna do now? So what you wanna do, baby? It's just me and you now. You. I like the way he kisses from head to toe. I like the way he kisses takes his time. You no, know. I like the way he kisses all around my neck. I like the way he. Makes my body beg for more I'm loving you, loving me, can't you see, baby You wind me up with every touch, driving me crazy
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is now time for the Indie Live Spot right here on your station, GHP Radio, your independent music source.
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, GHP Radio, um, the Indie Live Spot, right here streaming live on uh, YouTube. We're very excited about today's show because we have a great, great music guest today. As you can see, there's Grizz and Joyce, and then our music guest, Mr. Chino Rosaria, is here in the house. Hello. Welcome, welcome hey. to the show. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Welcome. Yes, sir. Yes. Hap- thank, welcome thank to you. the show, guy. We really, really appreciate you taking out the time to come through and stop and hang out with us for a little while. Um, <clears throat> we really, really enjoy that music, man. You have, mm. you have some great music. Of course, you have music of all volumes everywhere. Because I mean, I was <laughs> uh, when I got <laughs> hip to you, man. I went to check out a lot of uh, your stuff on your your website, and I was just highly, highly impressed. I was so surprised about all the other stuff that you had going on as far as the uh, uh, the classical stuff the uh, what was the group that you have um, that you got Blue Symphony. yes yes man that was just that was on point man really really nice uh, but thank uh, you but we're really 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 happy to have you on the show um, you have a, a CD new CD um, Let's see, tell us what the title is again. It's uh, Still Waters Run Deep. Yes. Mm, powerful. Very powerful. Great music. Great music. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to let our listeners check out some of the choices uh, or some of the uh, music there that you sent to us. But uh, before we do that, we just kind of want to <clears throat> kind of uh, get to know you uh, and everything. So uh, yeah, please, please tell us. Uh, about yourself as far as uh, your 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 music background how did you get into all this because I know all, you have so much going on <laughs> it seems like uh, you have to it's been in this a for a little while man. yeah <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> um, well um, um, so I was born in Curacao in the Caribbean and uh, growing up there the island is just such a mixture of a lot of cultures so I grew up listening to a lot of different kind of music from different cultures and all that became normal to me. And so when I came here to the U.S. when I was 18, I came here to study music, college, graduated. And as soon as I graduated, I started doing music, started gigging around town. And then slowly I started making my way into the smooth jazz scene. Um, I started classical music in college. I got my master's in classical music. Um, so. At the time, well, it still is, the first jazz pianist that I ever listened to was Oscar Peterson. Mm. And yeah, and at first I didn't like the music. I, my piano teacher gave me a cassette with Oscar Peterson and made me go listen to it. And I came back the next day and said, you, you can have this back. I don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. So I was still class, I was only studying classical music and then I was used to, you know, the island music, but jazz was completely new to me. So, so he told me, no, go back, and listen to it for a week, and come back next week. If you still hate it, then we'll leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> so I went back and I kept listening to it every day, forcing myself to listen to it. And then by the next week, it started making sense to me and I, I couldn't get enough of it. Right. So when I came to, yeah, so when I came to the US to study music, I chose the classical music route because Oscar Peterson had a classical background. So I wanted to get that technique and virtuosity that he had. And um, so by the time I graduated my classical uh, music degree, I started studying jazz and mixing that classical with the jazz and all the flavors that I grew up with on the island um, brought me to where I am today, to where I'm creating music, to where I try to portray where I come from and all the music that's influenced me over the years. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, and your, uh, you said your... Um study classical music what was your favorite classical composer and why um i have i would have to say two there's chopin and there's scriabin Mm -hmm. but the two are you know one was the student of the other so they you know they're very influenced in the same way um but when i play piano even doesn't matter what kind of music i play i like my music to be very singable very melodic and um, I felt like Chopin did that the best. Mm-hmm. He 
even though he was a virtuoso, there was a lot of notes going on, but it was still very singable. Uh, it was very melodic. It was very beautiful. Anybody could sing the melody. It wasn't just like you had to be a professional singer to sing it. It was just beautiful music, beautiful melodies, and but yet still challenging music. Mm. And in my style of playing, everything I do when I solo, even when I accompany somebody, I'm still thinking about, I'm always thinking about a melody because I always like there to be some kind of melody in my playing. It doesn't matter where I am in the music, I want there to, I always want to feel like there's somebody singing this melody that somebody can sing along to. Mm -hmm. So what about bebop, you know, Charlie Parker type? Um, it's very technical with a lot of, Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you feel about that type of music? Is that one of your favorites too? Oh yeah, I like that as well. And I feel like that, you know, there's a time and place for that where, you know, I have the skills, you know, with the, I'm able to play fast on the piano and I'm able to do all that. But then you always bring it back to something that whoever's listening can remember and take home with them. Exactly. So, you know. Well, that's awesome. So yeah. when did you start playing keyboard or piano? I actually didn't start until I was 12. I started kind of late. Um, I've always loved the instrument, I uh, always loved music. I started playing the ukulele when I was in second grade, when I was seven. And I did that for several years. I got really good at it. And then I got to a point to where I felt like I kind of learned everything I could learn on the instrument. So I chose to uh, start piano. And it was something that I loved, something that I did on my own. My parents never forced me. Um, they really didn't care much for it. They were mostly interested in me doing well in school. That's that's what they wanted. And that's what the, you know, back then, that was the typical mentality in the island. That's where you got to do well in school so you can get a good job. Um, music was hard to live with on the island. Mm -hmm. It's different now, but, you know, that's how my parents raised me. So music was something I did completely on my own. I never had a piano. Um, I always... I would always go to people's houses who did have piano as decoration. Wow. I'd sit in their living rooms, I would go to their homes and, and practice. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I, in my, about two years before I came to the States, I was taking piano lessons every day. Uh, I had this one piano teacher who really invested in me and he gave me a key to his studio so I can come and go as I please. So every day after school, I would leave school at two o'clock I'll walk about an hour in the heat to go to the studio to go practice until about seven, eight o'clock at night and then go home and do homework. Wow, so I did that for about two years straight. And again, my parents never forced me to do any of that. I just loved it so much. And um, so it, it really paid off. Well, I got something to say. I'm Ray. Hey, Ray. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm just getting in there. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I came in when you was talking about Oscar Peterson. See, you didn't okay. like it, huh? At first, no, because he was the first. When I when my teacher gave me a, a Oscar Peterson cassette, I had never heard jazz before. It was completely foreign to me. So mm -hmm. when I listened to it, it just sounded like I could tell he was talented, but it didn't mean anything to me. It just sounded like a bunch of random notes. <laughs> 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 well. You know, so, Oscar Peterson, UB Blake, you know, these is these is a lot of jazz greats, man. Yeah. But see, oh, yeah. I, I see now you can fell into the situation. You can fell into the jazz now, which right. is the jazz, right? Yeah. About after about a week of listening to him nonstop, I became pretty much addicted. Uh, all I wanted to do was play jazz, and then I after that I got into um, Art Tatum, which was another Art Tatum. Art Tatum. Yeah. Yep. And so those two were my biggest influences coming into jazz. That I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be able to play all over the place like they did. Um, but then, you know, the same thing with both Oscar and Art Tatum. They were, even though they were very virtuosic, they were also very melodic in their playing. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very easy to just show off and play fast all day. But then it doesn't, you know, it might not mean anything, might not say anything. Anybody can do that. You know, anybody who has practiced their skills for right. 10 hours a day can play fast on the piano, but to make it mean something is a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Right. I think That's I heard Charlie Parker practiced up to 12. 12 was it 12? It was something crazy. Yeah. 
he, he practiced and practiced. So, you know, that's what I tell people. The only difference between me and you is how many hours I'm exactly. uh, on the craft. Because I think any, I think anybody can learn an instrument. I really do. And right. I, you can do it at any age. When you said you were 12, no, that's not late. Even though some kids start at five, six, it's not late when you're 20, 30, 40, 50. I know a lady in her 70s learning how to play the saxophone. I know a man in his 60s learning how to play the saxophone. I, I just think if, if you want to put the time, the effort, and deal with the frustrations right. uh, of it, you can do it just like anybody else. Right. Yep. All right. Let's turn it back over to you, Gary. All right. Well, <laughs> that's fine. I just wanted to, um, I'm sitting here trying to uh, get into this chat room with uh, some of the folks there. But, uh, but yes, uh, definitely, man. So let's let's go ahead, since we have limited time with you today, sir. Right. We want to get to uh, let our listeners check out some of the music while you're here, get some responses Absolutely. and stuff. So um, now... Uh, I want to ask you about uh, the first track that uh, that I would like to um, uh, let the listeners check out, and uh, tell me a little bit about uh, uh, the one that's. Let's see here. I want. Let's see, because they're all so great. Uh, how about Night Groove? Uh, I like that featuring uh, Marcus Anderson. Man, tell us a little bit about that. So Night Groove. Um, that's my current single on the radio. It's my first single ever to go on the radio. Awesome. And um, that so song was co-written with Adam Holly, um, guitarist. And uh, Adam Holly has become a good, really good friends over the years. And he has really kind of been a mentor, mentor to me as well, also in the smooth jazz scene, mm -hmm. telling me, you know, kind of guiding me to, you know, how to approach this, you know, whole new uh, side of me. So um, him and I wrote that song together. Um, I flew to LA one time and uh, for a show and I stopped by his place and we just started messing around on the keys and the guitar and then we came up with that melody and, and that's just come, it's just kind of how it came about. We, it was late at night when we started so we had to name the session something. Yeah. So we just put night group, just, you know, just gonna hold the place. Uh -huh. And we finished the song and then I kept, I had a list of like 30 names that I wrote down that I could possibly name the tune. But at the end of the day, I said, you know what, it's just, it's a groove. It, it's just, this, this name just fits, Night Groove. It's simple, it's, it just fits. I don't feel like I need to change it. Yeah, yeah. That's how I, that came about. And then Marcus, um, I've seen Marcus many times. Um, I hadn't met them, met him at the time so i just emailed him and i said hey man you know any chance would you be interested in featuring on my song and surprisingly he said yes and he played on it and and um that's how that that's how that happened wow well, it definitely definitely grooves it's i like yeah. it i love it i love it okay well we're gonna let our listeners check it out right quick and then uh, and then of course we'll come back and uh, uh talk to you so if uh for those of you if you're just tuning in now we are talking to you know Rosaria, he's here, our guest today. We're very excited about having him on. Great music, and uh, we're getting ready to play a track right now. So uh, get ready, folks, and then we'll uh, be right back right here on the Indie Live Spot. Keep it locked. Cool, cool. cool.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That music is awesome. That was uh, music from our guest today. Um, mm. Yes, indeed. And that was called uh, um, okay. Sunday uh, featuring Elon Trotman. And then before that, we started out with uh, Night Groove uh, featuring Marcus Anderson. Yeah, and uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, <fun. laughs> Very we do have Rasta Man in the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we were actually be, uh, behind, you know, before we came back audio here of our voices here, Ray was uh, actually uh, talking to Gino, so I'm let y'all go ahead and talk. <laughs> go ahead, Ray. What was you talking about? I thought that was great stuff for uh, on the air. Matt asked him a great question. And if you don't mind repeating for the listeners, where are you gigging? Where are you performing live? Uh, yeah, that's what I was asking. Where where you've been performing and stuff like that. Oh, I'm just asking and, him to repeat it. Yeah. yeah. So right just now, repeat, most, yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, most of my show is just down here in the East um, and in Birmingham, Atlanta, um, Huntsville area. I'm doing a lot of stuff there. Um, I also got some stuff going on uh, in LA with different smooth jazz artists out there. And uh, working on a show in San Diego, working on a couple of shows in Dallas mm. and uh, Detroit. So, uh, so working on that, Hope, hoping to get on Marcus Anderson's festival next year over there in. Uh, uh, in North Carolina, it's actually happening this weekend. So did, I hear, did I hear right? You said Dallas in that in that. Uh, hey, I was going to ask you, are you going to Dallas? Where are you yeah. going to be Dallas? So my uh, my booking agent has a couple of clubs that she's talking to, and I don't have the names in front of me right now. But I've, I've never I've never. I, I live in Dallas, and and Mac lives in Fort Worth, which they're right next to each other. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're we're both in the Dallas area. Oh, perfect. Just curious to know where you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where you're going to be in Dallas? Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I gotta, I gotta pull up my email to find out. Uh, that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> we got time. Yeah, we yeah. got time. We, <laughs> just, we just don't want to miss it. We don't want to yeah. miss it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. definitely post all my dates on my, on my website as soon as they confirm. So uh, definitely make sure you guys uh, check that out as well. Yes. And um, but yeah, those are, you know, and then trying to get in. Really, any festival I can get into. That's smooth jazz. Trying to go some of the festivals overseas, some of the cruises. So you know, I'm I'm a brand new artist. This was my first single that released a few months ago. So we're definitely hustling really hard uh, to hopefully next year. I hope to be uh, very busy, have my uh, calendar filled out with uh, my own shows instead of shows as a, as a side man, which is what I've been doing for the uh, most of the several, uh, last few years. So it's well, uh, you know. I know a musician. She made a very good living being a side woman. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and to the point where she she didn't even want to be lead. She was playing with major artists from Janet Jackson to Diana Ross. I mean, oh, yeah. that singing uh, background, Natalie Cole, you name it, Stevie Wonder, and she was able to buy a house in Beverly Hills. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not putting being a sideman down. You actually make really good money with that. And it's, you sure you know, do. it's a lot less stressful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being a, being your own artist is, is taking a risk. You know, you just, you know, you put yourself out there. It may or may not happen. And a lot of times it's like a business. You know, you don't make money in the first few years. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times because you're investing it all back into your music. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just like you were saying, you know, I was asking, you know, you said I thought you was down in Miami, but uh, you in Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. And uh, you were speaking of a good friend of mine, uh, Admiral Leroy, but you call mm -hmm. him, we know him as Spidell also. Yeah. And, uh, about his magazine, our front magazine. I know he's uh, circulating on in the uh, Brown, Florida area, and I know he's out there in LA somewhere, out in California also. So, uh, how was your interview with him? It was it was really well. We interviewed. And this was uh, probably back in like 2013. I think that was when I released my first, my very first CD. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he interviewed me first. He gave me a full a full spread in his magazine. It was I appreciated that so much. 
And oh, uh, even up to this day, he's, he's still a big fan of my music. Every now and then, he still pops up at my shows. And uh, he always tells me, I got to call you. I got some things for you. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, I used to live and work in uh, in, in uh, Pensacola. And uh, I was dealing with a group called Out to Five Jazz. Boy, he gave he gave us a one hell of a spread on it in his magazine. This is back when it was first started. Oh wow, magazine, yeah. And uh, who was out there? It was back in the early nineties. Well, I guess about ninety eight, four ninety five, something like that. Yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely a good guy. Very supportive of. Everything yes. good happening in, in Pensacola, especially in the, in the black community. Well, I know quite a few people that lives in Pensacola also. <clears throat> a lot of them work up here, you know, they came from uh, from NADAP, the, uh, from the Navy base there. And yeah. around Corpus and here and different things like that. But yeah, man, I just thought you, you talking about you staying close to the island. You ain't close to no island in Pensacola. You up north, baby. Well, it's just one hop to Miami and then another hop out of the country. Yeah, but it's, it gets cold there too, man. <laughs> it does get cold, but it's it's bearable. I don't have to get up in the morning and scrape snow off my windshield or shovel snow. Well, That's the part that I don't understand how anybody could do. Like, if I'm the party, the last thing I want to do is be in the cold, doing manual labor. I had a friend was telling me that he was shoveling his driveway and then by the time he got to the end of the drive he had to go back and shovel it again because he filled up the sandwich no oh and i was like nah no thank you that is mm -mm. that's not for no. me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but see see we are fortunate here and uh like grisilla she's in south texas we are we're in the uh central part of texas myself and george but gary's up in oklahoma he catching all season he catches <laughs> <laughs> Tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, we did all. Catching snow, catching ice. He's a, he's catching it all. So we don't catch it all down here. Right uh -huh. now it's a hundred degrees now. Yeah, ice. We uh, do get ice. Much, though. It's you funny because Oklahoma was where I've seen snow. Yeah. Down. Is okay. there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't get snow like in uh, northern states, but we we get some inclement weather here as well. You know. Yeah. It's we'll just get you know, it. when it does happen, everything shuts down. Uh, but we're because, not, not south like Galveston and Houston. When a hurricane hits, we don't. It's not as bad for us because we're more north. But we're all good. But I like to talk more about your music, though. Okay. I'm, and how do you think classical music helped you play jazz, or did it? So the classical music was good in a lot of ways. First of all, it helped me with my technique, uh, being able to play as fast as I want without getting tired. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's one thing that a lot of musicians cannot do. They cannot play fast for a long time because their their hands will get tired. Mm -hmm. I can do it all day because I have the proper techniques. And uh, But not just that, it's also, uh, classical music teaches you, it's all about being expressive in your playing. It's all about phrasing, it's all about shapes, creating colors, um, it's not about showing off your talent, but it's about, you know, painting a story. So I took, that was the main thing that I took out of classical music and brought it over to my jazz. Even though I have, you know, like I said, I have the skills to play up and down the piano all day. I want to play music and I play melodies that are beautiful and that mean something. And um, that's the biggest part that I took, took away from classical music is that you know, being very expressive in my playing. And, you know, even though it's a happening beat, it's it's up, it's funky, yet I still want to make it seem like, you know, it's a singer singing this melody as opposed to just a piano playing it. So what was your favorite musical, historically speaking, what was your favorite period in classical music? Was it Baroque, Romantic, or what have you? It, for me, it was Romantic, definitely. Um, that was the, you know, the Chopin list and yeah. uh, area. And I, I feel like that's when music really, you know, took all the elements that came before that and make it, made it very, very musical. It's almost like it became more for the average listener as opposed to people who really understood music. And I feel like that's when, you know, it's almost like 
you know, jazz compared to smooth jazz. Smooth jazz made, made it a whole lot more understandable to, you know, the bigger crowd as opposed to traditional jazz. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I feel like that's romantic eras. That's when that happened in classical music as well. Right. Yeah. Well, it's almost, you're right, smooth jazz, because I remember when Kenny G came, he, until this day, people are still criticizing. He is not a good musician, and that is not jazz. Well, who could care? I could care less. The only thing I don't like about Kenny G is that it wasn't me. That's right. what I thought. Yeah. I think it was brilliant. I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's laughing all the way to the bank, if you know what I mean. He's had a long, success, successful career. I think he's an awesome musician. I've heard him on soprano. I heard him on tenor. I heard him play various styles. He can play. He's very technical. But like you said, he has learned how to make it romantic. And yeah. when he came out with Songbird, it appealed to people, to, to their hearts, the melody, the expression of it and um and i think that that is just okay because just like classical music evolved like let's start with gregorian chant through you know renaissance medieval a medieval renaissance and etc so does jazz no style of music is going to stay the same as long as we have creative people like you looking at music and say hey let's try this twist we wouldn't have funk we wouldn't have jazz you know i i, I love the creativity the only problem that I have, I have a problem sticking to one genre because I actually like it all. Even a little Zodico sometimes. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, I, I grew up in South Louisiana where Zodico was popular and my grandfather was one of the originators, so that's in my roots. So, right. But I, I appreciate what you know what you're doing. I know Gary, um, you, you you have to go do a sound check, so I don't know how much time you have left. With um, us. You gotta get going. Okay, so yeah. Garrett, turn it over to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, uh, Gino, we definitely appreciate you taking out that time to uh, uh, speak yeah. with us today and, and share yes. share 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 a lot of great things about you and your music and stuff. So uh, uh, before you go, you want to uh, let everybody know. Uh, your website, how to get to it, as far as that goes, and how they can follow you and keep up with all your dates and everything. Sure. Um, my website, my name is ginorosaria.com, and I'll put that in the comments as well. And you can also follow me on social media. Uh, if you actually just Google my name, Gino Rosaria, all my information will come up. Um, on Facebook, I'm Gino Rosaria, the pianist, and same thing on uh, Instagram. And uh, I, I stay, I keep those pretty updated. And um, again, on my website, I, I list all my um, show dates regularly so you can see where I'm playing. And I've got several shows I'm going to be adding soon as well. We're, we're just waiting on the contracts to come through. And uh, but thank you guys so much uh, for featuring me. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, I hope to come back again. And hopefully I'll see you guys at one of my shows. Oh, that'd yeah. be awesome, definitely. And, and give a shout out to your manager. She's doing an awesome job, so. Yes, yes, I will let her know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. her name on the air and, and or, or, or does she oh, oh, Yes, oh yeah, yeah, her name is, uh, her name is Heather Nicole and uh, she's been, she's been really hustling. The funny thing is I've had an agent before that worked for me for a little over a year mm -hmm. and uh, I ended up uh, letting him go and I got Heather and I've had I've had Heather for a little over a month and in that amount of time she's done more work for me than the other agent has done in that whole year and a half wow. so Heather is a, she's a hustler and I'm very happy to have her on my team and I think she's really gonna help make things happen for me so yeah. shout out to you Heather <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, one, and one more thing before you go because uh, I want to introduce to our, our, our listeners and watchers uh, uh, your, one of your videos, the uh, uh, symphony, uh, and Simon Says, could you kind of name out some of the artists there uh, that's performing with you on that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that project was um, something that I've wanted to do for a long time because, you know, with my classical background, I love um, orchestration and horn sections and all that stuff. So I wanted to have a project where I could do all of that, even though the music might have might not have been 
commercial, as we say, but it's music that I love. And it was music that really was inspired by my son. I, I had just found out I was going to be a dad. And the whole project was named Simon Says. My son's name is Simon. Mm -hmm. And um, so a lot of that music, for example, the song Simon Says on that, on that record, on that EP, my son was, he was probably about seven months old at the time. And he was just banging on my piano. And he happened to bang out this melody and I kept remembering it, and then I turned it into a song, and that's how the song Simon Says came. It's wow. awesome. Oh, I love that. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah. Just, you know, oh. yeah. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, that was a project that I wanted to release, because um, I had all that music in me that I wanted to get out. I wanted to do it before I, before I really released this new jazz project. Um, that project was more in the lines of Snarky Puppy and you know that, that kind of music. So, um, so, you know, it was a huge project, even though it was only four songs in that EP, it took us several months to do it because of such a big instrumentation and then all the videos and all that stuff. So, but I'm very happy with that project and I'm glad that it's documented and it's available now to everybody, Groove Symphony. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, of course, inspired by my son. That's awesome. That and we're going to hear it after he leaves. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, I wanted to say something. I've got to say something. If I can get in edge, why? Look. <laughs> We're here late. <laughs> Look here. I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get your information from Grizz and everything. I want you to hit up Admiral for me, so well, I can misplace this number and stuff on uh, Admiral Leroy. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Say that again. No, what I was saying, I'm gonna get your information from Grizz, mm -hmm. and uh, so you can get a hold of Admiral from me, Spidell from me. Okay. He, you can go to his website though, Mac. You know, Google his name, and he has a contact page. You can reach out to him that way. I can. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I, I forget. Grizz, forget. <laughs> I uh, might forget. Well, I'm just trying to make it easier for you. <laughs> But, uh, no, I, I, you know, I want you to hit up. I want you to get a, uh, get a hold of uh, Admiral from me. I will. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, I, I could probably hold on. Let me see. All right, well, we, he has to go though, so we're just trying to be. Yeah, yeah if he had more time, I would call him right now and see if I can get him on the phone. But well, just just give him it. Uh, uh, <laughs> when we go off to when when you get ready before you leave, we go off with you know whatever you're gonna you're doing. You can give me his number. I know you got it because I okay. lost his number. Sure, yeah. So can we play what some music before? before yeah. All right, we going off the air now. Um, I was just waiting on y'all. I'm getting ready to play the video. Yeah, we're waiting yeah, on the video. Off the air. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, uh, people. We're gonna uh, play a video. It's called um, Simon Says, and uh, yes, that's from, what I want. From his group's uh, Groove Symphony. So y'all check that out. And uh, again, Gino, thank you very much for you. hanging out with us. We really appreciate you. you. And we That's want you so to come much. back. Great. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs>
right. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Um, (laughs) We had some things going on here. Yeah, we had the audios playing, the music playing over the video, the videos playing and everything else. Everything was all screwed up on that part, so we apologize (laughs) for that. Uh, What's happened, folks? What's happened? Oh my goodness! No, it's Max's fault because he got here late. Are <laughs> 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 uh, you gonna feel like the like the cartoon emperor's new groove? Where that where the little man bumped into the emperor and he threw off his groove? That's what Max did today. <laughs> he threw off our groove. <laughs> yeah, that's Jack. that Kansas. What you doing? Yeah, so for the listeners listening, we're sorry about that. Um, you can go yeah. to, the, you can actually go see that video. Uh, you'll probably have a better experience watching it um, if you just go to his website or, and, because uh, he has, I mean, there's a lot of videos like that on his uh, site. Right. On his so, website. So definitely do that. We still, great interview. Great, very talented uh, guy. Like we say, he's going places. Absolutely. So, I'm going to keep an eye out to see when he's uh, going to be in Dallas. What he's... Uh, what place? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did go? There you go. Mac, did you try to leave us? Are we still on the air? What happened to Ray Ray? Yes, we're on the air. Mm-hmm. We are. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I couldn't see it on... Oh, there it is. There it is. Mm-hmm. So guys, how was your week? Did everybody stay cool? Literally? As long as I no, stay cool. Uh, yeah. Ah. It's hot as fish grease here. I know. That's been used what two, three times. <laughs> I was I was freaking out. Was it yesterday? Yesterday, I think, because I looked at my phone because you know how it, it gives the you got, you got the app on there. It gives you the weather. Mm-hmm. And I just happened to look at it, and it was like maybe a quarter till six. It was 102. It felt like 104. I'm like, what? I know. <laughs> it's almost six o'clock, and you're in this is hot. Holy right. crap. Are you talking about in the evening or in the morning? No, in the evening. Really? By yeah. then, it shouldn't have been that hot, you know, but it was okay. like, it was 102. I'm like, holy crap. Wow. See, that's why when I see people jogging or walking in the middle of the day, now we go around eight o'clock between eight and nine o'clock at night, because uh, it's just too hot. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. And mm-hmm. I, and I heard the news: a 32 year old NFL, either current or former former NFL player in Arkansas, I can't remember his name. He was doing some work for his family outdoors, and how did he stroke? And by that evening, he was gone. Oh, wow. So you're talking about a, a healthy athlete. So you know I don't need to be out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why I got up early early this morning, which I normally don't on Saturdays, so I can do my laundry before it got too hot. Right. I mean, you know it's hot when your, uh, the, um, your power company sends you an email saying, uh, increase your... Your temperature between two and six o'clock tomorrow, um, up to five degrees higher, and don't use your dryer during that time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, because our our electric bill doubled, you know, more than doubled, I think. So yeah, we're really pulling on. So we ha- my house is full right now with my daughter and her family. Well, we just took my son back to college today, and we had to have a talk about leaving, you know, lights on and mm-hmm. things like that because it's, it's, it's pretty rough in Texas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. make sure you plug stuff that you don't need to be, like if you're not using the hair dryer or curling iron or whatever, stuff like that, unplug it all. <laughs> unplug it. What happened exactly. To, what happened to Ray? Oh, oh he's, he's right right step. Oh, okay. I had to go let my dog in. <laughs> okay, we're on the air, man. I know. He has to go take a Okay. I had to go let him in. It's too hot out there. You know, he, he got to go outside every now and then to use it. Yeah. All right. Just, just 
Arme der Dreckigen. <lacht> 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 to use it! <lacht> to use the outside! <lacht> Just let your imagination take you. <lacht> you gotta do a number one and number two. <lacht> I don't want him to do it in here. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I had to let him out to go outside every so often to use it. <laughs> gotta use it. You got to use it. If you don't use it, you will lose it. <laughs> he, you know, he, oh my he, he lets me know when he got to go. He lets me know when he got to go. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. You okay. have to do that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, man. You, you know. <laughs> Good to oh, that, was funny. that was funny. But you guys, did you hear about <laughs> McDonald's salad? What's going on? Uh -uh. 436 people got sick. What? Over what? Their salad. Something has to do, it's, um, it's a parasitic type illness. Something they're finding in there. And it's not in the same state or... Uh, or one location of various location locations and the government is still um, uh, investigating it because you know how restaurants are you you know McDonald's has a distributor and that distributor may have another source where they get it from so they have to investigate and track down they they have I think somebody had remaining or maybe one or a few of them had remaining salads uh, that they could test and it in and, and, uh, of course, it coincide with the illness that they have, what they found, and and um, so you guys be careful. The uh, the the illness lies dormant. I mean, it lies dormant for a week, I think, before you start feeling symptoms, hmm. and it could be pretty serious. No fatalities, but some people have been hospitalized. Oh man! So just just be aware. So is it like all their salads, or just yeah, one? No. If I remember, when I read the article, I remember reading again the infamous romaine lettuce that uh, <laughs> it's in there. And you think about what happened, what, a few months ago? Mm -hmm. um, and they were pulling it out of grocery stores. So I don't, I don't know what's worse, you know, um, uh, buying food with uh, parasites or E. coli or whatever, or buying ice cream that's been licked. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lick my heard, home. <laughs> when I heard that and I saw the video, I thought, who thinks of these things? Mm. I, it, there's some things that, that never even entered my thought process. <laughs> right, I, right. You know, somebody cuts you off in traffic and you go, I just wanted to get, okay, I get that. But I don't understand um going into a grocery store and then recording yourself and putting it on social media yeah you need attention that badly it's terrible obviously man. well what did they do they, they go licking the ice cream or what well the first the first case because they've been copycats they arrested her and it's a federal crime tampering with food mm. and, yeah and so and they've been a, a copy uh a copycat or two and I think they but that mindset of committing a crime and putting it on social media media I don't understand can somebody explain that to me <laughs> what's going on in my Marvin Gaye's voice <laughs> <They're demented. laughs> uh, just a little bit <laughs> I don't understand. it's just like a cheater puts a picture on Facebook <laughs> Do you remember the show Stupid Criminals? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I think of. What did Henry yeah. say? Any one of the Impossible Burger from no, anyone Burger King? No, had the Impossible Burger from Burger King. Is it not oh. yet? Oh, anyone had. Okay, I don't have my glasses on. No, I don't know anything about that. I just know about the McDonald's. No, no, he was just asking if anyone's tried that burger. Oh, okay. okay. Burger. okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm not a big burger in the, part of the town that I where I live, it's Burger King's on the opposite, way, way mm -hmm. far away from me. 
So since I don't have a vehicle and right now no money, no, <laughs> I haven't had Burger King in a long time. I just didn't want it in your hood, right? <laughs> well, they haven't put one in our in my hood yet. <laughs> no, I I don't see a lot of Burger Kings like I see McDonald's anyway. They're just not as plentiful. So, mm -hmm. yep. Like, but one story that, because I'm reading a lot of stories lately, there was a, a, a 10 year old boy named Willie. He was kidnapped mm -hmm. and he kept singing a gospel song for two or three hours until they finally let him go. Mm -hmm. and, and Lord the God, I think, okay, you better teach your kids a gospel song or two. And I think another story, there was a, a tornado that hit a church mm -hmm. and the kids were singing, who were they singing? Jesus loves me, this I know. Mm -hmm. And although it, it, it didn't, uh, the tornado hit, but it didn't tear the church down. So there must be something to that. Well, watch the kids. Watch the kids, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Doubt. Attention getter, yeah, Henry, I agree with you. Need attention that badly. But imagine. But, but what I like, I, I did a test, if you will, not a test, but I posted something Monday morning. I said, how about some good news this morning? Because we know from the, the, mass, the three mass shootings recently, we've been bombarded with uh, some tragic things. Uh -huh. I said, how about some good news? There was a school, an uh, elementary school, I think it was in, in the Dallas area. Uh, the teachers, they were having uh, some type of gathering. I don't know if it was an award ceremony or I think it was more of an award ceremony type thing. <laughs> uh huh. I'm sorry. I think what? I think Ray's dog got out. Is on a loose. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I see. No, I see. A long time, Ray. There's a dog on the screen. He's breathing. He's panting. Is it that hot out there? <laughs> no, that's Ray. Oh. <laughs> 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 What's his name, Ray? What's your dog's name? That's Dex. Dex? Yeah. You always yeah, dress him blame up. Blame it on the dog. Do Any noise you hear coming from Mac, he'll blame it on his dog now. Do you always do you always dress him up like that? No, I don't dress him up. But well, when it's cold there, I got a little he put on his leathers. Okay. <laughs> His what? His what? Chris, hold up. <laughs> I, I put on his leather. Oh, leather. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got a little old jacket he put on and his leather. Then it's got the, some kind of uh, wool inside of it and it's cold. Okay. Oh, there he is! And I'm covering up Ray's face. I need to see this. That's funny. He's covering up your face completely. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, get your dog out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think oh, he's getting dog. ready to leave. He's getting ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, raised dog. Wow, wow, wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Wow, wow. I know, I know. I know. Hey, <laughs> so, let the dog out. <laughs> that was what I started out with first. <laughs> And I had to go to Atomic Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Atomic oh, Dog. He's okay. so cute, though. He's gone now. He just, he just left. All right, we finally got rid of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that big text is cuter than that. The okay. dog is like, uh, The dog is panting uh, on, on the microphone, though. That's Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Told you not to go out in that heat, Ray. You can't handle that. Well, I, I sure don't like it. It's hot out there. It is yeah, hot. Yeah. Gia, I was wondering the same thing, Gia. When he said leathers, like what? He put chaps on the, on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, he's putting on his leather coat. He uh, got a coat. <laughs> no, but she was asking, are those chaps right? <laughs> no. <laughs> and when you said leather, that's the first thing that came to my mind was chaps. <laughs> I just think it's funny that you put leather on your dog. That that's uh, different. Well, it's a it's a coat like could go over his back and lace him up on his belly and you, uh, where's yeah, up on his belly and uh, um, then inside of he got a collar and he's got fur, a wool on the in on the on the back of it and around the neck. So when it's cold, I put that on if you go outside. So now we're going skiing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. see, see, he acts, he acts, he acts so much like close. a human. <laughs> he don't want to. I'm just wondering. <laughs> Did you get some little skis? So you're right. <laughs> Check him to the field and see the hill, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. Go on. I, I, you know, sorry about. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh man, that is funny. Y'all just stop. Y'all just stop talking. I'm so laughing. When he says, "Oh man, come back." I mean, oh, did he go back and get the dog again? And he left it. I don't know what to do by back. We're on the air and he's just moving. <laughs> and it's, I think his dog is coming back too. Oh, he let it out again? I think, oh, I think it. <laughs> male, male. Well, male, Dex, maybe. Yeah, it's a male. Well, he said they, that, the, that his coat has fur on the coat. I know. Zach Henry was boots with the fur. So I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say, but I couldn't get it out because you guys were talking. <laughs> I have to call the dog. Yeah, dog. With the collar instead of boots with the fur, a collar with the fur. <laughs> and a whole lot of jeans. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. Hey, Dex. How you doing? <laughs> what happened to the French one? Remember you had the one with the beret? Oh, he's still around. <laughs> he just, he just take, he's taking a break. He's giving somebody else a little chance. Let me say, thank Chris. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Let's uh, let's get into another music set, and then we'll come back. Okay. okay? All right. Oh, good. So, cool. 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 <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, folks, we'll be right back. Hopefully, and maybe uh, Matt. Maybe, we'll be maybe back. Matt could be back, too. You had my attention. Did I forget to mention?
truth is you're complaining has driven me crazy and out of my mind you're out of luck and out of time to have treated me so unkind i can't take this no more rather be walking out that door now you know how hurt burns it's like a curse killing the desire you've left the game and now you're fired you are not my friend you're not my lover or a good man you've been fooled if you believed that i still love you but it's over
Ray leave again. Wait, he's back. <laughs> All this we come on air, he leaves. <laughs> All this time we're off the air and he's oh, in yeah. the air. Off the air, he was back. My time. He's <laughs> <laughs> that dog again. He's he back for us today. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we did have. We, we, we just got through playing some more uh, music by some great artists there. And. Uh, uh, Mucho Gusto, uh, Blend Jazz featuring Carl Johnson. Yay! Uh, Melodies by Rena Givens. Oh, yes! Not My Friend by Kia Michaels. Kia! And Hey You, Moonchild from the oh, Fantasy, oh, you. Fantasy Suite. Hey, Moonchild! Yes. Very talented. Mm -hmm. that, that was a great uh, uh, song list. Yes, indeed, indeed. And again, a thank you to Gino Rosaria today for coming on the show. Enjoy exactly. That. Of course, if you missed it, we will definitely post uh, the replay of this this whole show. Uh, it'll be available links. We'll link it up on Facebook, and uh, and of course, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, that way, you can keep up with all the shows. Uh, that you may have missed you can go back and check a lot a lot of them out also you can go over to ghpradio.com that site is still up uh we have <clears throat> i'll post videos over there as well and stuff so just Good. give me some options there <laughs> of course every now and then i go back and i look at us and mm -hmm. and i and i you know listen to a little bit and i said oh did i say that <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I, you know, we try to behave. I try to, you know, talk about positive things, but then Matt comes in with his dog, and it just shifts the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing hard and everything. Oh, Ray, Ray, uh, Henry sent you a message. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ray, uh, Henry, Henry sent you a message in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, uh, "Moon child for Ray." Moon child for Ray. <laughs> Read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> you're, refer you're referring to the show when we had the Moon show. Child on. Remember when you got all excited about her her, her, her video. video? Her video. Well, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, that video was very seductive. <laughs> you just, you, all you had to do is read between the lines, and, and it was right there, staring at you. So you yes, know, at, he admitted it now. He admitted that. Between the lines, not between the sheets. So. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been between the sheets. <laughs> Cause it was show that. <laughs> the thing is, Moonchild admitted that. Yes, yes. Well, she <laughs> corrected you instead of saying, "Cause you said soft porn." She goes, "No, it's seductive." Better way to say that would be seductive. Same thing. Uh. Yeah, but I, I agree. I wouldn't call that soft porn. I mean, so. Seduction is one thing, and soft porn is another. And porn, you know, just the word porn. 
It's very. You see that on TV all the time. It'd be seductive and be soft porn. <laughs> soft guess, porn. Let's look up what is soft porn. <laughs> <laughs> the definition. <laughs> is it, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, well, well, I'm going to look it up. What uh, is soft porn? This is me. Is you see what Henry put, G? What you, let me see. <laughs> Ray goes back, sees the replays, and says, I said that. Ground was y'all. And here's the, the urban um, definition pornography that is relatively less visual than it's okay. All right. Oh, That's what it is. <laughs> Just a little less uh, visual than um, hardcore porn, but I still didn't see it that badly. But I guess, you know. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. It was just okay, so. Does, you know? you, does usually not contain close up images uh, of <laughs> blank. Okay, I've read enough. What was the blank? What was the blank? Yeah, your, your, your brain. <laughs> I am not saying it. <laughs> like you can't visualize back. <laughs> I saw Dameron with uh, her video. Yeah, I mean, you were just like a little kid, like a teenage boy. I go, hey. <laughs> I thought I just called her. <laughs> 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 she didn't deny it though. No, she didn't. No, no. She said, you know, you know, passion, you know, passion comes in many ways. And you know. <laughs> I, I mean I, I I like what you said. Well, you know, um she showed just enough that your ma- your, your imagination can take you all the way. And um and with you, Mac, your imagination went it ran. Yeah, it, ran. <laughs> it ran with it. It, it went you know, beyond. It, it <laughs> ran with it. It 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 went to infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Oh, and Joyce, uh, last week when you had that, that uh, gig that you... You only were on the show for a little bit. That week was it was last week, right? Yeah. You had the private um, gig, private dinner. I did. Yeah, it was. I think it was a birthday. Yes, it was. It oh, was a lady. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't remember what we were talking about after you left. Uh, that we were talking, and I don't know what it, exactly what it was anymore at, the, at this point, <laughs> but. Uh, Whatever it was that we were talking about, Gary goes well, and then, and then I had to go well. And then <laughs> Gia in the chat room she goes, and the church says well. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows what that means. Wow! I was like, oh, Joyce missed this one. Oh, I would have loved that one. Thanks. Well, you just have to go and, and listen to last week's. So that we get yeah. that, and you'll see it in the chat as well once you put that. In. <laughs> okay, Regina. Girl, I saw that. I started you laughing. You know what it is. Well, speaking of that gig, did you guys see the picture I posted with the sun ray coming down on me? Well, I I missed that one. Yeah, well, I posted and uh, just thinking it was coming from the window and Ladarian told me, he said, that light wasn't coming from the window. Look at it again. I said, yeah, past the window because it was a huge building with little windows near the the ceiling. (laughs) And he said, no. He said, honey, I, I, I looked outside, you know, if you got the camera, you know, you, you're like this. And, and he looked outside and he couldn't see the ray. But when he looked through the uh, phone, he could see the sun rays. And he said, and then I tilted the phone a little bit and it was gone. And when I tilted back to the original position, there was the light. Oh. And I went, oh my goodness. So where did it come from? He said, I don't know. So I'm. I'm just wondering, if, is there a scientific uh, reason that it just showed up in the phone? And it did, because he wanted to see the image to see if it actually did populate on the image, and it did. 
So I said, mm -hmm, that was God showing you what you got, babe. <laughs> I said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. <laughs> All right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I went back and I looked at the picture and I said, "Oh my goodness, what, what, what was that?" So yeah. I, I thought it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then right now, Gia goes with the one. Left to imagination, right, Gia? <laughs> Now, Joyce, I, I, think, I think I saw. Trust me, uh, Henry, he did. <laughs> Joyce, I, think I was, was going to ask Joyce. I think I saw something that where she posted. You got something coming up at the balcony soon. I do. You do. Talk, what was that about? Well, I, I, this is with my band, Joyce Spencer and Expressions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be at the Balcony Club on September twentieth. Yes, September twentieth. Friday at 9.30 p.m. in uh, the Balcony Club in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And then the next night, I have my solo act at a a, a jazz mixer. Yeah. And I'm doing solo act, why people network and that thing. And even on the 25th of this month, I have an all-white affair oh. that I'm in, in Fort Worth. In your hood, Ray, want to see you there. Uh-oh. Ray. <laughs> in your hood on the 25th. And that's my wedding anniversary date, so. Okay. Okay. It's all white affair. All white. And clothing. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to clarify. Uh -huh. I just wanted to clarify. Yes. Because I can hear, you know, I, 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 That'd make you go buy some white shoes, white socks, slacks, and shirt. Well, in, in this case, they said you can have one splash of color, so maybe you can wear your pink shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As long as it's not platform, okay? <laughs> With the little fishies in it. <laughs> and you got to see your dog home. <laughs> I'm still trying to find out where that, uh, where the, where they move buttons over in Arlington. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to get that information for me. Huh. Yeah. Like I switch subjects. I know. We do this on the show all the time. <laughs> Go back and listen. You, it's funny. I'm watching, and we interrupt each other all the time. <laughs> it's funny. We just go with the flow, you know. Yeah, I meant to check on that. Um, uh, cause I know one person that would know that I can contact about that. So, cause I, I love that place. You know, do you guys remember? Well, probably not Gris and um, Gary, but Mac, you remember when um, Buttons, I think the first experience with Buttons was about <laughs> 10 years ago, nine, 10 years ago in Addison. Yeah. They had the best food. What's the name of the chef? Oh my goodness. It was so good. My friends and I, another couple, and my husband and I went and we, we ordered a different entree, mm -hmm. all of us, and we, and we, and we put it in the center and we all tasted each other's food and it was so much fun. It was the pork chops, great. The chicken and waffles, great. It was it was just awesome. Mm -hmm. Just good stuff. So yes, I'm glad it's still going. Yeah, because I was going to say, I, yeah. as I recall, <laughs> when I was at the, uh, when I came down there to see Tony Red, was that in Addison? That, that yeah, was Buttons. Addison. It yeah. was. It was at Buttons in Addison. Yeah, I, enjoy, mm -hmm. I, I did enjoy the food too, because like I said, when I was yeah. there, I was like, mmm, that's some good stuff. Yeah, the atmosphere was good. The building was a nice size and, and everything. Mm. So, and we'd go, we'd have to wait one to two hours before we'd get a place to sit. Mm. It was that, yeah. it was uh, really doing well. Mm. I just often wonder what happens to uh, uh, a business, a venue or what have you that's doing so well and then just starts. Well, uh, is it you know what it is? Poor you know management. That, that was the manager. What was the guy, Carolyn and whoever that owned it? The the, the guy that owned it, and Carolyn. That was just bad management. Oh, she thought she was the hired. super. She thought she was the hottest thing. Like the air. <laughs> Permanent record. Watch it. <laughs> Permanent record. Watch it. 
<laughs> yeah, Ray, I remember that when I came down there. I remember you was trying to tell me about how she was acting because I saw her uh, when you introduced yeah. me to her that time. Yeah, she thinks she was better than sliced bread. Thought she was uh, a <laughs> child banker or something. I think better than sliced bread. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> 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 they, they tried to open this. They tried to open this soda, but it was just too small. It mm. was the stage. The stage was behind the bar, y'all. On the upper level behind the bar, it was really weird. Oh, that it was is weird. weird. And I, I heard a funny story. A friend of mine, I'm not going to say names. He said, Joyce, my friend called me, said, man, we just got two or three people playing in the band. We need your help. And and they got $200 to play. He said, Joyce, they were so bad. I was embarrassed to be up there with them. They were so bad that they told us to step down. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, I thought about it and I understand. I mean, if it's that bad. But you gotta understand, if you pay two hundred dollars, that's what you got. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's you want you can't have a five piece band jamming for four hours and, and for two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because generally that's how long you play in four hours at venues like that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So yeah, that, that's what a friend of mine said. He's a bass player. He said, Yeah, you, you get what you paid for. He said, you got $200, here's your $200 entertainment. That is true. Mm-hmm. That is very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh. Well, oh. it looks like we about, uh, what we got? Three minutes? minutes. Three or four minutes? Mm-hmm. You're the boss. You can end it any time you want. That's true. That's true. <laughs> 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 Who are you answering to? <laughs> I know. I know. Well, yeah. Um. Well, I'm not sure. We, 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 don't, we, well. we don't have anybody scheduled for next week, do we? Yet? Not, not, not yet. Okay. No. Okay. All right. We're gonna be working on that. But um, man, I just want everybody to have a great weekend. And stay cool. Um, you know, I don't know in your area if it's the temperatures are like it is here, but it's hot. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> summer is. Uh, Letting us know before the fall sets in that uh, yeah that they are relevant. Re- re- <laughs> yeah, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, I guess it's about time for us to get ready, set, get it all closed up for today. But uh, again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate uh, you guys tuning in when you do, and, uh, and please tell folks about it uh, about us because, um, uh, like I said, we're going to be doing more more with this uh with this channel and um right other than that i don't have anything else uh i guess uh ray and grizz and joyce i mean what do y'all got oh just left me out huh uh, well i i was trying to get the order i was trying to get the order right but i couldn't do it <laughs> i just I'm i just sorry. i just let it flow <laughs> yeah, it's a joy being here uh with my peeps here uh grizz mac and gary and always enjoy the chat line and you are some really groovy people in in the chat line love you yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what, what was that <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course groovy baby yeah <laughs> groovy baby but um uh, i enjoyed it like, like gary said hey let's let's um help us get some more people in yeah. um the, the chat line and listening and so we can help promote artists and, and have a little um, party, uh, uh, if you will, online, a little cyber party where we can get together and celebrate one another. Mm-hmm. Until next week. Well, I, I guess we'll see you next week. I got to get up and get up out of here. We'll see you later. Bye. I mean, stay cool out there. Go. It's hot as fish grease out there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. You see Max's skin color? He used to be my color. (laughs) (laughs) So that's cooking. (laughs) Cooking. (laughs) Cooking. Yeah. (laughs) Chris, are you all right? (laughs) (laughs) You got Grizz on the go. Uh, 
images that flash in my head, I'm gonna keep those to myself. Hey, 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 Grizz, hold on. You know, every female I run across, just like uh, I ran across this female, she's bright, and she was with her husband and stuff. Boy, he was dark as I am. Boy, boy y'all light skin women show like that chocolate, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> like that chocolate, huh? <laughs> well, thank you everybody for tuning in. Chat room, thank you. Thank you for joining us and showing your support. Thank you so much. Yeah. Join us next week. Like Gary and, and Joy said, invite somebody to let people know to join us every week here on GHP Radio via YouTube. And... Um, Guys, stay hydrated, be careful, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ciao. Bye, Ciao. everybody. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. See you next Here's, week. Here's uh, Errol Lee with What's Color. Uh, what is Color? Is, uh, uh, we're going to close Lee? that. Yeah, what Errol Lee. We're going to close out with that. So I think that's cool. appropriate <laughs> for Definitely. what we just talked about. So anyway, everybody have a great <laughs> weekend. You enjoy the comment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, see you later, everybody. Bye. I'm one you make you. I will stand with you. Together we are better. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better? If we had the same face My blood bleeds red My heart beats true With so much love My brother for you What is color? What is race? Would you like me better If we had the same face? My blood bleeds red My heart beats true so much love, my sister, for you. Picture the world with me. This is what I see. No war, no poverty. Ethnocultural harmony. I heard one person say, Love will make the way for peace and equality. This encourages me. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better if we had the same face? My blood beats red, my heart beats too. With so much love, my brother for you. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better if we had the same face? Locally, want somebody tell me what it is. Yo, practice like that does not bend. But if you bend your mind, you just might find a friend. Find a friend. Uh. What is color? What is race? Would you like me better if we had the same face? My blood bleeds red. Beats you with so much love, my brother. For you, what is color? What is race? Sweet love, would you like me better if we had the same face? My blood bleeds red, my heart beats you with so much love, my sister.